The U.S. Army has a new hypersonic weapon that's designed to fly 17 times the speed of sound. Now we know that the weapon will be able to strike targets from at least 1,725 miles away. That's according to an Army spokesperson's recent comments. That means the long-range hypersonic weapon is capable of destroying enemy targets from far away standoff ranges. With that kind of armament, U.S. forces could could easily strike targets in Russia and China during a conflict, a deterrent that ideally makes such conflicts less likely. The LRHW, scheduled for testing in 2023, is a truck-mounted hypersonic weapon. Each LRHW battery will consist of an operations center controlling four transporter, erector, and launcher trucks. Each TEL truck will carry two of the LRHW missiles. It's likely the Army's LRHW has a similar range to the Navy's conventional prompt strike weapon, according to Breaking Defense. The two weapons, after all, share many of the same components. Last October, National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien said the Navy will deploy the new hypersonic weapons on all 69 of its guided missile destroyers. The LRHW's range will cause considerable problems for enemy forces in wartime. In the Pacific, a range of 1,725 miles means any number of potential allies, including South Korea, Taiwan, Japan, and the Philippines, could host Army LRHW batteries. Then, they could strike targets in the South China Sea, China's bases, or even the Chinese mainland. Nintendo came out with a surprise announcement of a brand new game that harkens back to the Nintendo 64. And I gotta tell you, I'm a bit excited. They've taken gameplay and upped the ante as well. We're talking about Mario Golf. Yes, we have a new Mario Golf game coming out, and Nintendo released a five-minute trailer for it. And above all... Yes, you get to play golf. Yes, there are the standard game modes for the most part, but there's a new game mode that is basically fast golf, where you hit and run between your shots and see who can get their ball in the cup the fastest. And it looks to revolutionize the Mario Golf world. As I said, they released a five minute trailer. We're not gonna do the whole thing, but here's a couple choice minutes from the new Mario Golf game for the Nintendo Switch. The fairway is open once again. Tee off on the latest installment of the Mario Golf series, coming to Nintendo Switch. Study the wind and terrain. Take your time to think things through. Then swing. Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters on courses filled with lush, natural scenery. Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. These features can help you ace your shots. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls by holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game, letting you easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf including this one, Speed Golf. Here, it's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time, then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole, then keep going. Outpace your opponents to come out on top. Your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Oh, did we mention Story Mode? As a me character, you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. Then allocate points to different stats, allowing you to develop your character however you'd like. You can also use your me in versus play. Put your golfing skills to the test. Oh man, what a good looking game. Mario Golf Super Rush is available June 25th. 
Uh, I'm not much of a farmer. I don't really pay too close attention to farming technology, but man, the technology in farming has definitely been upped recently. Farmers, prepare for the future. There's a new robot on the block that can slay 100,000 weeds per hour all night every night. This autonomous weeder stands out from other robots in its class because it uses high-powered lasers to zap pesky sprouts into oblivion. And because the bots use thermal energy to eradicate weeds rather than a physical intervention like tilling, the machine doesn't disturb the soil below it. That means reduced farm costs, no more herbicides, and most importantly, happier, healthier crops. So how does it work? The chassis, or the load-bearing part of the tractor, uses GPS and computer vision to autonomously drive within the bounds of a field, navigate furrows, and automatically turn around to start the next row. While the tractor moves around its plot at five miles per hour, its 12 high-resolution cameras continuously scan the ground below. Meanwhile, an onboard supercomputer uses machine learning to identify unwanted plants in mere milliseconds. Once the robot pinpoints undesirable weeds, it fires eight carbon dioxide lasers at them. Carbon dioxide lasers run electrically through a gas-filled tube to produce invisible far-infrared light. Because they are reflective mirrors on the ends of the tube, this light is ultra-powerful and can cut through various materials from wood to steel. The autonomous weeder's laser array can kill a combined 100,000 weeds per hour, or about 28 weeds a second. As a result, Carbon Robotics says a single robot can weed 15 to 20 acres in a day, replacing several deployments of analog hand weeders. For context, a vegetable farmer told the Seattle Times he usually needs to hire a 30-person crew for a full day of work to weed 30 acres of organic onions. That efficiency is a big deal for farmers' bottom lines as crop inputs and labor are two of their most significant costs. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the average farm brings in just $91,800 in net income. Crop inputs like chemicals, fertilizers, and seeds make up about 28% of farmers' total spending on average, and labor consists of about 13.8%. Carbon Robotics says it wants the autonomous weeder to be a solution for all different kinds of farmers. They say it's designed for farms from 200 to tens of thousands of acres. The company even offers leasing options so specialty farms can test out the robot on tricky crops like broccoli and onions. While all the 2021 models are already sold out, Pre-orders are open for the firm's 2022 line.